in this tutorial we will create this 3d table as this drawing is in inches therefore we will use a cat.dwt template click here and select a cat.dwt right now we are in 2d environment to switch to 3d environment click here and select 3d modeling now here only x and y axis is visible and z axis is not visible to make it visible click here on unsaved view and select se isometric then to shift it at the corner type ucs icon enter then click on no region then we will check the unit setting type un for units press enter then click here and choose architectural then insertion scale will be inches and angle type will be decimal degrees precision is zero click on ok then here i have kept object snap tracking on by clicking on it you can turn it on and off then object snap is also on and if you click on this arrow I have selected endpoint, midpoint, center, quadrant, intersection, and extension object snaps. Then this dynamic UCS is also turned off. So these are my settings. Now in this drawing, at first we will create this top. Now here, size of the top without bull nodes is given as 50 by 15 inches. And with bull nose, here is the total length. So at first we will create one rectangle of 50 by 15 size and we will add this bull nose in the next step. Click on rectangle, specify first point, take your cursor away. Then in x direction, I want length to be 15, comma. In y direction, I want it 50. Press enter, then zoom minus and pan it. Then here is small curve. Now for this small curve, here gap is given as 3 fourth. That means gap between this line and this curvature top is 3 fourth. Now this object is a single object. To break this object into individual lines, you will have to explode it. Click here on modify and click on explode. Select this rectangle, press enter. Then click on offset. Then specify offset distance of 3 fourth. Enter. Then select this line. Take your cursor inside and click. Then press enter. Then click on 3 point arc. Then click here for start point. Then this midpoint will be our second point, and this will be our third point. Then we want same arc on the opposite side. We will mirror this arc. For that, click on modify, click on mirror, then select this arc, enter, then specify first point of mirror line. So we will take this midpoint as a first point. Then make ortho on, then take your cursor on this side and click and press enter. Then remove unwanted objects, for that type E, enter and select these lines and enter. Then trim unwanted portions, for that type TR, enter, enter and click on the objects to be trim. Press enter. So this overall shape is ready. Then before converting this object into 3D, we will make one copy that we will be using for bull nodes. For copy type CO, enter, select this object, enter, specify base point and we will place it here, click enter. Then to convert this object into 3D, click on press pull. Then take your cursor inside this shape, click, take your cursor below and specify thickness of 3 fourth, enter. 
enter then to give it 3d look click here and select shaded with edges then i don't want this grid line you can turn them off from here click then to create bull nose at first we will convert this object into single object for that click on modify click on join then select this object enter now this object is converted into single object press escape then bull nose size is 1 8th now we will be using sweep command to create bull nose and we want to create that bull nose profile vertical now we are in word ucs that means you can create horizontal profiles and if you want to create vertical profiles you can either use front or right so i want to create on this surface or on this current zx plane therefore i will use this front now here x y is vertical then zoom here then click on line click take your cursor below and specify height of 3/4 enter then take your cursor on this side zoom there and specify length of 1/8 enter then track this end point take your cursor there don't click there take it away so it will track it then click there and click press enter then again we will create one arc click on three point arc then specify this point as a first point then this midpoint as a second point and this end point as a third point then remove unwanted objects type e enter and select these lines to be removed press enter then again we will have to convert this object into single object for that click on modify click on join select this object enter now this object is converted into single profile press escape then we will move it and place it on midpoint of this line for that click on move select this object enter then base point will be this midpoint and second point will be this midpoint then to convert this object into 3d click here on the arrow below extrude and select sweep then select object to sweep click on this profile enter select sweep path click on this path so here this bull nose profile is created then we will move it and place it on this object type m enter select this object enter then click on this midpoint for base point and click on this midpoint so here it has been placed properly so this top is ready then next is to create legs now here this is a square block of 1 and 3/4 size and height is 4 inches so at first we will create square of 1 and 3/4 size we want to create horizontal square for that click here and choose top ucs then click on rectangle specify first point take your cursor away and type 1-3/4 comma 1-3/4 enter zoom there then press pull click inside this shape take your cursor below and specify height of 4 inches enter zoom minus enter then we want to create this turning portion for this turning portion we will have to create one arc for that we will see this profile in 2d wireframe click here and click on 2d wireframe and orbit it then we will create one circle here type c enter then take your cursor to this midpoint take your cursor to this midpoint take your cursor inside and click then click on this midpoint 
then we want arc of this length so we will create one line here click on line click on this end point make ortho off and click on this center point press enter then trim unwanted portion type tr enter enter and remove this portion enter then actually we want to create arc on ucs which will pass through this diagonal so at first we will change our ucs for that click on three point ucs then origin point will be on this end point click there then specify positive portion of x axis i will choose this end point or this intersection point then y direction will be vertical so i will choose this end point so here our uses is change as per our selection then i want copy of this line vertical for that click on rotate select this line enter then specify base point choose this intersection point then click on copy make ortho on take your cursor below and click then here we want arc like this so we have here start point center point and end point so click on this arrow and select start center end then this will be our start point this will be our center point then to reverse the direction of the arc press and hold control so it will reverse the direction take your cursor ahead and click then we don't want these lines type e enter select these lines press enter then we will revolve this arc for that click here and click on revolve then select this arc enter then specify axis start point so i will choose this center point take your cursor above and click then specify angle of revolution so it will be 360 degree enter we can view how it looks in 3d click here and click on shaded with edges so here this surface is created and this is solid actually we want to remove this bottom portion for that click on slice then select object to slice i want to slice this 3d object press enter then click on surface select this surface then select sliced object to keep so i want to keep this portion click on it then remove this surface type e enter select this surface enter so here this portion is created then next is to create this mortars now here dimensions has been given for mortars now here i will actually create at first leg from this position so we will have mortars on this side and this side so at first we will create on this side if you want to create something on this side you will have to use front plane and if you want to create something on this face then you will have to use right plane and for creating something on this surface you have to use top plane so here we will use front plane click here and click on front so here xy is aligned to this surface so here at first we will create this location line at a distance of 516 for that take your cursor to this arrow near extract edges click on it and select copy edges then click on this line enter specify base point then specify direction take your cursor on this side and specify distance of 516 enter then again click on copy then location from top is 58 select this line now here it is giving error a 3d solid must be selected now it is giving this error because we have created one square that we used to create 3d object but that 2d shape is still there therefore it is not selecting that 3d line and it is selecting that 2d shape so what we will do press escape we will have to erase that square for that type e enter 
then click in this empty space take your cursor on the left side and click so here you can see that two objects has been selected now here we don't want to erase this 3d object to cancel selection of this 3d object press shift and click on this object now here one has been removed and total one is selected press enter then again click on copy edges click on this line enter specify base point take your cursor below and specify height of 58 enter then exit and exit then this rectangle size is 38 by 2 and half click on rectangle then take your cursor here now here it is not showing intersection point what we will do we will track these endpoints take your cursor to this endpoint take your cursor to this endpoint and take your cursor below so here it is showing the intersection of those tracking lines so click there take your cursor below and specify width of 3 eighths comma 2 dash half enter ok y direction was needed to be negative alright we will move it below click on move select this object enter click on this endpoint and click on this endpoint then to cut this portion click on press pull click inside this portion take your cursor inside and specify depth of 1 inch enter and escape press shift press middle mouse button and orbit it here this mortars of 1 inch depth is created then we want same on this side so what we will do we will rotate this shape click on 3d rotate then select this portion enter then specify base point click on this end point then direction will be this blue color click on it specify angle of 270 enter so here it has been transferred on this surface again click on press pull click inside this portion take your cursor inside specify depth of 1 inch enter and enter so this piece is ready then next is to create this bottom portion here bottom diameter is 1 inch and we know that this top diameter is 1 and 3 fourth orbit it then again we want to create horizontal circles so click here and click on top then zoom there type C enter then click on the center point take your cursor away and specify radius of half inch enter then we want this circle at the distance of 25 and half inch we will move it below click on move click on the circle enter specify base point take it below and specify height of 25 dash half and enter zoom minus just orbit it in other side here it has been placed then to create conical portion we will use loft click here and click on loft then select this circle and ok here it is click there now here it is not selecting this circle it is saying selected cross section is not a valid type and one was filtered out so what we will do we will move these two circles in empty space press enter type M enter select this circle and this bottom circle enter specify base point take it outside and click then again we will use loft command click on loft select this circle select this circle enter click on cross section only then we will move it and place it here click on move select this object enter click on this center point and this center point 
So here this leg is ready. The next is to create this apron. At first we will create this small apron. Now apron size is 3 fourth by 3 and quarter. So at first we will create this rectangle. Now we want to create rectangle on surface parallel to this face. So for that click here and choose right UCS. Then click on rectangle. Specify first point. Take your cursor away. Then specify width of 3 fourth comma 3 and quarter dash 1 by 4. Enter. Then length is 11 and 3 fourth. Click on press pull. Click inside this rectangle. Take your cursor on this side. Specify length of 11 dash 3 fourth. Enter. Enter. Then we want to create this tenon. So tenon size is same as this mortise. So we will just copy this rectangle. Type CO. Enter. Select this rectangle. Now here it is not selecting rectangle. So again we will use crossing window. Click then press shift and click on this 3D object. Then enter. Then click on this midpoint. Then take your cursor here. Make ortho off. Take your cursor to this midpoint. Then track that point. Take your cursor below. And specify height of 58. Enter. So here it has been placed properly. Press enter. Then remove these lines. Type E. Enter. Select this line and this line. Press enter. Then we want same rectangle on the opposite side. We will copy this rectangle. Type CO. Enter. Select this rectangle. Enter. Select this midpoint as a base point. And click on this midpoint. Press enter. So here this rectangle is placed. Then we want to cut it by 1 inch. Click on press pull. Click inside this shape. Take your cursor inside. Type 1 inch. Enter. Same way on the other side. Orbit it. Zoom it. Click. Take it inside. 1. Enter. And enter. Then we want to create one more larger apron. We will copy this apron, type CO, enter, select this object, enter, specify base point, specify second point. Press enter. Then we want this apron in X direction. We will rotate this object. Click on 3D rotate, select this object, enter, then click on this blue circle, make ortho on, take your cursor on this side and click and escape. Then length is 40 and half. Click on copy edges. Select this line. Enter specify base point. Take your cursor on this side and specify length of 40 and half. Enter. 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 So here this line is created. The next is to change this size. For that take your cursor on this arrow near extrude faces. Click there and click on move faces. Click on this face and this face. Enter then specify base point. Click on this end point and click on this end point. So your length is updated. Press escape. Then we will move it and place it. At first we will remove this rectangle. E. Enter. Click. And we will remove these lines. Enter. Then for move, we want to see this internal portion. So it will be easy if we choose 2D wireframe. Click here, click on 2D wireframe. Then click on move. Select this object. Enter, click on this end point. And click on this end point. So it has been placed. Same way for this. Enter, select this object, enter, click on this end point, 
and zoom there and click on this endpoint then click here click on shaded with edges so here it has been placed properly then I want this leg on this side for that we will mirror it click on 3d mirror select this object enter then we want to mirror around this xy plane so click on xy then specify point on xy plane so that point will be on this midpoint click there and press enter so here it has been placed now these are two separate objects to convert it into single object click here on union then select this object and this object press enter again press enter select this object and this object and press enter then again we will mirror this object on this side click on mirror select these objects enter then we want to mirror around yz plane click on yz then click on this midpoint enter then again enter select this object enter we will mirror around xy plane click on xy and click on this midpoint press enter then remove unwanted objects type e enter select these objects press enter then we will move it and place it on this object again it will be easy if you choose 2d wireframe click here click on 2d wireframe then click on move select this object enter then take your cursor to this midpoint then take your cursor to this midpoint and take your cursor in the center then locate the center point click make ortho off take your cursor on this below midpoint take your cursor on this below midpoint take your cursor in the center locate the center point and click and click here and choose shaded with edges and orbit it so here this object is created properly click on AC isometric so in the next tutorial we will learn to create woodworking plan using this drawing like the one shown here and we will also create a rendering for this table and if you want to learn 3d basics then i will provide that link in the description and if you want to learn autocad from basics then that link also i will give in the description so thanks for watching we will stop here